Hello everyone. Now we are checking one Seagate Rosewood LM case study. Now we can see in the COM terminal there are some LED issue, and we have written a lock ROM. Now we are trying to power on this pension drive, and we can see this is the terminal message output is COM terminal means we have. Uh, ratings on lock ROM and now uh, uh, we can check we are trying to enter the F3T prompt We need to wait a little bit. Now let's try to back up the end list. Sometimes we can try to use the Ctrl Z at the same time while we are sending the unlock key and no need to wait until the terminal message output completes otherwise we may get stuck in the middle due to some issue some firmware issue corrupted so now we are waiting until the engineer's backup completes So for all the CG drive, it's always necessary and important to back up engineer first. And in many cases, we also back up the 1B28 and also 93.
now the backup is complete we need to save the into list and let's check here we need to set up one SOS folder and then we put the certify to this SOS folder all files certify okay after that we can go back to the now for this kind of cases it gets stuck after completing the backup you can try to soft reset okay so we can power off power on send an lock key and then uh, clear the v4 and then we can go to regenerate the translator Now after the transfer regeneration, we can try to check the major catch within the system file 93.
Okay. Now after the chance nature regeneration, we can try to check the. We can power off, power on. Send down not key. Now we can easily enter the F3T prompt. So at this time, we need to go to the initialize ID. We can reread the hard drive ID and refresh the RAM. So this is the ID information within the RAM. So when we are trying to re-enter the program, all the ID information has been refreshed. Now we can try again the initialize ID. Here we need to untick this one and click modify. Now we go to the data error checking and so the front part is okay. We can check the ending part. So the ending part is also okay. That means this drive has been fixed. Now we are trying to use the DFL DDP data recovery software to check the files, to check the partitions. So we just click DDP. New project, file extraction. Okay, so here are the partitions detected root. So all the files, lost files, are listed here. So this is the partition the user need to recover. So users just need to select the wanted partition folders and files and get all small state.